Well, Gate 11 Distillery just opened in the Chattanooga Choo Choo, and here to give us a snapshot of what we can expect is Mr. Bill Lee. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Jess. Good to see you. Thank you. All right, so give us a little backstory on Gate 11 Distillery, and welcome to Chattanooga, of course. Well, thank you. So, uh, uh, welcome to Chattanooga. Probably makes a little sense. I actually grew up around here, grew up mm -hmm. in Bledsoe County, uh, but spent most of my career in the Midwest. Um, and got involved in biofuels and uh, ultimately beverage alcohol. But my wife and I moved back a few years ago. I was actually consulting with people, helping them build craft distilleries in other places. And I thought, why, uh, why not build one here mm -hmm. in Chattanooga? So uh, we've been back here, and we're very proud to be part of um, creating something like this here in Chattanooga. Okay, and so you offer a variety of spirits, so to speak. I mean, normally with a distiller, you're thinking only one uh, type of spirit, but you actually have three and going to be four soon as well. Right. We're very uh, we're a micro distillery. We're very small, but we we do have a lot of products that we can make, and we have distilled and bottled a gin product here, and which is our own gin blend, and vodka. And uh, we've also bottled a rye whiskey, which is made mm -hmm. by another Tennessee distiller. We'll be doing our own whiskeys, and as you mentioned, very shortly be producing and fermenting and distilling our own rums. So, you know, warm weather's coming, we hope, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, uh, that means uh, rum's a good thing. So, another thing about our distillery, we've got a big focus on experience, and part of that experience is cocktail bar. Mm -hmm. And so, we're one of the we're one of the newer distillers, and we've been able to um, configure our our facility after the rules change allowing distillers to serve cocktails. Okay. So we, we decided to make cocktail bars a big focus. And of course, we're, uh, we're at the Choo Choo and part of this new uh, scene at the Choo Choo with Comedy Catch, Songbirds, American Draft, uh, more of an adult entertainment zone now. Right, and, and I love the changes the Choo Choo has been going through. And uh, so we have some footage here of kind of what your distillery looks like. So number one, being in the Choo Choo, to me, feels like a small environment. So how are you able to create all these great products and, and take advantage of the space you have? Well, um, that was a challenge, and that's, that's what 20 years of chemical engineering in this area gets you. Uh, I was, uh, I, I actually designed our three stills herself. And uh, you could you could plan about half of it in advance. The rest you sort of had to mm -hmm. fit in as you as as we built it. So uh, uh, I, I guess I leveraged my own personal experience in that area. So and like you said, you've been doing this basically your whole life. So that's something that you know I'm sure played into your decision of what spirits to make. I mean, how did you decide to make you know some gin and some vodka? Yeah, I'm not I'm not a distiller who says I never drink it myself. Of course. <laughs> Uh, you know, if you're going to make a cocktail bar part of your focus, then you need to offer a range of spirits because, uh, you know, uh, we can only serve the spirits that we produce. Mm -hmm. But if you produce a range of spirits, then you've got a you're lot of options. You're good to go, so yeah. A lot of <laughs> options. So Talk us through go, the process. Yeah. I know, I, I, haven't, I was telling him I have not visited since they were in the construction phase, so I need to stop by and check out the finished product. Um, but tell me a little bit about kind of how each product is made and uh, and how it, you know, ties into the area possibly too. Well, with the gin, let's talk about the gin because gin's having a big moment across the country mm -hmm. for in, in craft distilleries, and it's because there's so many different uh, ways you can express the botanicals in gin. Uh, gin has to have some juniper by by uh, federal law, but beyond that, there's a lot of different things you can put in. One of the one of the botanicals we put in our gin is orris root, which is really iris root, the state mm -hmm. flower of Tennessee. Oh, perfect. Um, and so we, we've got a little Tennessee focus there. Uh, beyond that, we, we are sourcing some of our botanicals locally here. Mm -hmm. so we're going to increase that as we go forward. But we distill this from a, a neutral spirit, and then we've got a special glass botanical still. Actually, I left my assistant Whitney back uh, at the distillery. She's doing that as we speak. <laughs> you left her working. <laughs> for, for more, uh, for another batch of gin. Uh, How long does it take to produce a batch of gin? Uh, really just about a week. Oh, wow. It's not okay. very long. Uh, you know, we contrast that with whiskey. Now, we haven't started fermenting uh, and It's distilling. a longer process, though. Well, you, it's longer to make it, plus you have to barrel age whiskey mm -hmm. for years. Right. And that can be two, three years up to, you know, some of the old whiskeys are decades. Absolutely. So, uh, one thing about our um, whiskey, we, we were fortunate to uh, 
get a boxcar from the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. Mm -hmm. We're going to be aging our whiskeys on a boxcar at the Choo Choo. Oh, wow. And uh, it's kind of a special thing. And That'll be cool. And so a, a little different railroad experience there. So. That's going to be really neat. And then yeah. also talk about, um, you know, how you've decided to tie in vodka with all this, too. Well, vodka is really kind of my specialty. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I did the most early in my career. Um, and uh, we, we distill our vodka with a lot of copper contact and a lot of uh, carbon treatment. And so it's the copper, a combination of the copper and carbon gives us a very smooth taste. In I was going to say, what does that mean to me? I yeah. have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it, means, it just means it goes down very easy, Jess. So. Good to know. That's all yeah. you need to know, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so tell me about the experience. When we visit Gate 11, you know, are there tour opportunities? And, and what can we see and do? Experience really is what we're trying to make Gate 11 all about, from uh, coming in and doing tours to experiencing at the cocktail bar mm -hmm. uh, the products. Uh, and then beyond that, we've really, we sometime in 2019, we're going to start a couple of programs. One's called Gen Class, where we're, we're going to do a deep dive for people who want to come in and really understand what's in gin, what are the individual botanicals like, what do they mm -hmm. contribute to the product, and uh, we could even create custom gins for people if they want to. And then on the whiskey side, we're, we want to uh, offer a program we call Tennessee Whiskey Experience. That is, you and your friends could get together and define, you know, what type of whiskey do you want to make? Do you want to make a bourbon, mm -hmm. a rye, a malt, single malt whiskey? Uh, we will work with you to define that, and you can be part of the production process all the way through into the barrel. And then uh, you can come out to our box car for a tasting every six mm -hmm. months or so, just to see how it's maturing. Right, so. just to follow the process all along. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And then you can make it exactly how you want it to taste. All right, Bill, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, we hope to have you back, especially as we get closer to that rum release. But yes. in the meantime, how can we get in touch with you and how can we book tours? Well, we have a website, kate11distillery.com, and uh, we, we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. And you can call our number. Uh, tours actually haven't started this week. We're hoping to start mm -hmm. tours next week. Right. But the cocktail bar is open in the evenings, and uh, and we have um, we have uh, tastings during the day and merchandise. So we look forward to seeing people. Sounds great. Well, Bill, thanks for joining us, and we will be uh, in touch soon, like we mentioned. Thank I'll you, Jess. I'll talk to you again soon. Okay. We'll be right back. Bye.